Hello all, welcome to my weekly video blog. I am David Santangelo and I will channel the Arcturian Nation. Uh, the Arcturian Nation is our grandfathers and grandmothers of the stars. The Arcturian Nation is the oldest star beings in our galaxy, the oldest beings in our galaxy. And we all come from the Arcturian Nation. Uh, and our soul lineage. So when we call upon the Arcturian nation, we're calling our most ancient ancestry, and certainly many of us were born into, in the way of our soul, into other star nations, Pleiades, and Andromeda, and Vega, and Venus, and so forth and so on. But when we call upon the Arcturian nation, we're calling our original ancestors, the original ancestors of our galaxy, and they are here to guide us into this new age. They are here to help us remember who we are completely so that we can be on the forefront of this movement into this new age of Earth. A higher consciousness, eradicating energies and vibrations of lack and poverty, vibrations of not being enough, not being worthy enough, vibrations of being less than in any way, shape, or form. The vibration that we're bringing into this planet in this time is a vibration of knowing who we are, knowing our soul's gifts, knowing the majesty and the wonder of the gifts that each of us carries, and bringing forth those gifts for the purpose of healing, for the purpose of awakening, for the purpose of oneness the purpose of healing this planet and mending the sacred hoop. These teachings are in every culture, every indigenous culture across the world. They've been around for thousands and perhaps millions of years on this planet. They date back to the time of Lemurian Atlantis on this planet and beyond that time, even further back. So as you listen to the channeling, connect to your heart and know that your heart song is being called forth. The vibration of this channeling, of all of these channelings, of the Arcturian nation calls forth your true power, calls forth your heart song. And this is why you are here, to bring forth your heart song. And if we are going to change the consciousness upon this planet, we need you to bring forth your heart song, the song of your soul, your true message. If we are going to eradicate limiting belief systems, we need you to bring forth your message of truth, your message of the way. These messages are not religious. They are spiritual. They function by the way of self-realization that every man, woman, and child is their own road to the divine. Every man, woman, and child, every being upon this planet has their own road to awakening, their own soul song. This is the purpose behind these channelings, no matter the topic. Now we will let the Arcturian nation speak. Brothers and sisters, you carry a message in your heart, you carry a message in your soul. And this message must be brought forth if the consciousness of this planet is going to change. You are the one, you are the leader, you are the messenger. And by being the messenger and being in the way of the messenger, you must know there is no room in you for doubt or for fear or for lack or for poverty of any kind, you must know that it is important for you to pray the prayer and say the prayer that allows you to let go and allows you to walk your spiritual path. Your true soul's path, the path of the way that you are meant to walk. It is important that you say the prayer, Thy will, not my will be done. And that you allow 
the universal energies, your guides and helpers from the higher dimensions, that you allow us, the Arcturian nation, to guide you, to awaken your conscious memory to your soul's path and your true mission upon this planet Earth. It is important that you make this prayer daily and that you ask for this daily and above and beyond all that you let go of fear, you let go of worry, and you let go of control. For you must know that you can be in control if you want to choose this and you can manifest from this place. But you cannot manifest what is highest for you. You cannot manifest what is highest for those around you. You cannot manifest what is highest for the planet Earth as a whole and beyond if you think you are the one who is control, in control, and you choose this path. The path that you must choose is the path of letting go of control and saying, I am a vessel for the power of creation, the power of the universe to move forth through. I am a vessel for the higher energies, for the divine light, the divine source, for spirit to move forth through. Make me your messenger, make me your vessel, and allow you to shape my life, my life's path, allow you to bring forth the right work for me, the right community for me, the right health for me. Allow you to bring forth for me my true heart song, my true soul's power and message. And when you make this prayer, holy children, and when you make this choice, for this is deciding, this is a choice for you to make, you have free will. You can choose this way, the way of openness, the way of allowing, the way of letting go of control. Or you can choose the way of your own box, your own structures, your own limiting belief systems, and work within this. And truly you can have community from here, and truly you can have financial abundance even from here. And truly you can work from here, but truly you will also be limited. For you will never know your true heart song. You will never know your true soul's message. And this will never be brought forth to all of those who are in need upon this planet. All is waiting for you to awaken. The trees and the rivers are waiting for you to awaken. The birds are waiting for you to awaken. The stars in the sky are waiting for you to awaken. Everything around you is waiting for you to sing your song, to allow your unveiling to take place. We are awaiting your unveiling to take place, but you cannot do this, and you cannot be this, and you cannot not unveil yourself from a place of me, from a place of disbelief, from a place of thinking that you are the doer, and you are the one who has to do. Truly you must take right action, but you cannot be the doer. Truly you must act in accordance with the laws of spirit. Truly you must act in accordance with the inspiration from the divine source as it comes forth to you. In the Arcturian way, this divine source is simply ah. This is the vibration. This is the sound. Truly you must allow yourself to let the spirit of ah and the spirit of all things move through you and awaken the fire in your heart. You must surrender in this way to the guidance, to the inspiration, to the intuition. And when you surrender in this way and you allow yourself to be the vessel, this is when all things in your life take shape. You find the right love partners. You find the right community. You find the right work. You find the right living situation, the right place to live. And most of all, you find yourself traveling through your time on this planet in a space of allowance, in a space of openness, in a space of love. And if you travel 
Through your time on this planet in a space of openness, in a space of love, all things then, your truest desires, your truest needs and your truest wants come forth to you. This is letting go of control and allowing the truth to flow through you. But you must let go of control in order for this to happen. We are the Arcturian nation. We are your grandmothers and grandfathers of the stars. We are your most ancient ancestors. We have always been with you and we are here with you now. Call upon us. Allow us into your life. Allow us into your prayers. Allow us into your consciousness, your conscious memory. Allow us into your awareness and we will help to guide you. We will help you every step of the way. You are not alone, though you may think you are alone. You are not alone. You are guided. You are protected. But you must only say yes to the true message that you carry in your heart and in your soul. We love you and we thank you. Make it so, make it so, make it so. I hope blessings on that. So remember, the Arcturian nation is with us, and we are here to cleanse the consciousness of this planet, to take this planet to another level, a level of greater awakening, a level of greater awareness, a level of greater health, a level of greater wholeness and oneness. The most powerful thing we can do to facilitate this is know the song of our soul. Know the true message that we carry and not hold back in bringing this message. It's difficult sometimes for people will judge and there is fear and there is lack consciousness and everything around us in this world tells us to do the exact opposite of this. But when we do this, we truly step into our power, our soul's power. And when we do this and we step into our soul's power, we change the consciousness of this planet. And this is what has to happen before we destroy ourselves. So make it so. Thank you for listening. I'm David Santangelo. Feel free to email me, call me, contact me. Thank you. Aho.